Okay, so I just want to show my setup. Here's the AC coming into a switch mode power supply providing 12 volts. Uh, going into a Dickerson charge pump that I built a couple years ago. Uh, the silk screen on it was wrong, so I never did anything with it. I was going to sell it, but I never got around to making it with the correct silk screen on it. But uh, you have the input there, output there, and that's going to, this is basically just a standard scooter motor. Uh, it's bearings are shot on it, so it's making a lot of noise. But uh, if I go over here, there's an enable line, it's active low. I just take that to the low end, and you can see dramatic difference. Uh, this is basically a voltage tripler, so it's taking the 24 or the 12 volts and making 36 out of it. So it's uh, it's rated a 24 volt motor, but you know it's it's kind of history anyway. It's, it's on its last leg anyway. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to show the potential um, efficiency of a of a Dickerson charge pump. I mean, it's got a pretty good current capability. Uh, let me turn it off here. The H bridge is the four transistors that are on the back side there. Originally, I designed this so that the two boards could stack together. But uh, I don't know. Next time I do it, I'll just do it as one piece. But uh, anyway, there's a there's a bit of a microprocessor on the back side uh, that gets programmed to to control the switching of the transistors correctly. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically just an H bridge, and it's just you got to control when to when to turn the certain legs of the H bridge on or off, uh, so you don't have any kind of shoot through with current. Uh, they run. I can't see the camera. They run cool to the touch. Uh, I've never had any issues with them. I mean, they're rated at like 55 amps, but uh, I mean, they they always run cool to the touch if they're if they're turned on and off correctly. I've got uh, some uh, some level shifter uh, ICs on there on the back side as well. It's all surface mount on the back side. Let's see if I can flip it over. Yeah, I killed it. Didn't like that. That's weird. Okay, so cold solder joint or something. Okay, so yeah, you can see the surface mount stuff on the back side. Anyway, and there's some sim there. There was a bit of a learning curve after I did this, so there's some simplification that I can do the next time around. Um, but that's about it. I just wanted to show the the uh, potential current uh, efficiency of of a charge pump such as this so and it'll hold it too i mean originally i put this circuit together for like rc racing uh, i used to race rc cars a while back and uh it was nice to have like a turbo gear in the straightaway uh have something like this that didn't weigh hardly anything uh so you, you could basically double or triple your battery pack on a straightaway and uh it was funny because it would actually uh create like a second gear scratch with like an electric motor, which was kind of funny. I had good at the flip of a switch from the remote, but it's the same same concept, same idea. So I mean, if I'm not holding the motor, watch this. If I'm not holding the motor, let's see, you can see it kick. I mean, it about just rolled off the table there. So anyway, let's turn it off, and it kicks back a little bit the other way. Anyway, so this is a, this enable is basically, I mean, it's low voltage. It can be controlled from a microprocessor just as easily as I'm just doing it manually. So anyway, uh, that's it. Give it a try. Dickerson charge pumps are pretty cool. Or Dixon charge pumps.